This is an ultrasound study of an 80 years old male. Uh, he has been he has re represented with the history of retention of the urine, and uh, this is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section in this view. This is the urinary bladder in transverse section in this view, and the uh, pre void uh, maturation vol uh, sorry urine volume is approximately. Approximately, you see, it's more than one liter. One 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 seven um, milliliter means one point one uh, liters. Uh, so the uh, massively distended uh, urinary bladder, and in the longitudinal section, let's see the prostate. Now, uh, in the prostate, you will see that there is no sign of prostatic enlargement. This is the longitudinal and this is the transverse section. Now let's measure and see if there is any sign of prostatic hypertrophy in this age. It's not on you here. Okay. Yeah, it is a bit 70 millimeters, but you know, up, up to uh, 60 millimeters or 50 millimeters is considered to be uh, normal in dimensions. This is mildly enlarged prostate and of no uh, significant concern. This is the urinary bladder, black area, longitudinal section, transfer section, the prostate, longitudinal section, transfer section. And during my scan, maybe you have noted that there is a dense coarse echogenic area seen in the proximal prostatic urethra giving sharp posterior shadow. Now this is the cause, this is the main cause of the retention of the urine that is an approximately measuring 15 ml, uh, sorry 15 mm in length. Uh, a calculus giving posterior shadow in the uh, in the proximal prostatic urethra and uh, this is again see it in the longitudinal section giving posterior shadow now this is the prostatic substance don't see any other calcification in this region now transversely if you see again you will see the same calculus giving posterior shadow and uh, this is seen in the mid, uh, uh, this is the prostate, this area, and this is the uh, proximal urethra, oh, and this is the calculus in the proximal urethra giving posterior shadow in transfer section as well. Keeping the probe over there, now I have moved it into longitudinal section. Let's magnify and study it in magnified view. Now, in magnified view, this is the prostate, prostatic substance, this area, and uh, this is the urinary bladder, this area, and this is the calculus in the prostatic urethra. This is the calculus. Now, if I move, keep the probe over here, take it in transfer section, move the probe in transfer section, it persists over, it persists over there, and uh, this patient is uh, having much difficulty in passing the urine because of this pathology. Now, this is the transfer section of the prostate, this area is the prostate. You are being disturbed by the noise of the cell. Well, this is the calculus in transfer section. This is the transfer of the uh, prostate and see the shadow. This is the urinary bladder and this is a magnified view. Now, when uh, 
the uh, unary bladder is distended to this extent. This is the normal magnification in which we, I uh, scan the patients in routine. Uh, remember that must see the kidneys uh, because this much of pressure can uh, lead to bilateral uh, hydronephrosis which will be beca not because of some pathology but because of the distended for better as you can see in this case this is the right kidney you can see minimal hydronephrosis dilated ureter on the right side and uh, on the left side picture will be presented to you now here if this is the upper pole of the left kidney dilated calyx is seen and here you can see the uh, dilated mid calyces upper calyces as well as the dilated uh, proximal ureter so uh, this is a rectionary or secondary uh, to the pathology I've just mentioned you. So this is a case of prostatic scalpulus causing obstruction as a cause of obstruction. Now post maturation residual volume, let's see. What is the difference in the pre-maturation and post-maturation reservoir volume? This is the longitudinal section and this is the transfer section. Uh, rough estimate of the volume of the urine post void is approximately 624 millimeter centimeters. Uh, sorry, six. 624 ml so the post it should not have been more than 50 so this is a, a much raised post maturation residual volume otherwise uh, you can see that the urinary bladder is clear of any calculus debris or focalian uh, moreover if you separate a little bit you will see the dilated now these is the dilated ureter, you can see, yeah, of distal ureter. This is the dilated distal ureter and uh, in transfer section, you can see a, a dilated proximal ureter with a calculus shadow in it, possible, possible calculus. Think, and this is the dilated uh, uh, this one is the dilated distal ureter, the right side, and this is the dilated distal ureter of the left side with a small tiny calculi uh, within it. Thank you very much.